and it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn How's everyone doing tonight? I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I haven't, we haven't left yet. <laughs> Thanks to Gator Football. But anyways, I wanted to hop on here tonight and share with you my finished project. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these on here. They look, I don't know. It was something. I think I'm just going to get a button. But anyways... I hope you can see, well, you can see how the stitch is. You can't really tell with this black shirt. I didn't even think about it. I guess I can go put on a white shirt. Let me go put on a white shirt. I had a black shirt on and you couldn't see the details of the sweater, but she's complete. So I'm not too sure about this. I may just get a button. Or I may chain a black chain, but I think if I would have had more yarn, I would have done the rest of this in the green and orange. I think this takes away from this, and you know, you live and learn, right? But I think it turned out okay. Um, Y'all let me know what you think. I could make it a hoodie. No, no, but... Yeah, this was interesting, <laughs> this stitch to work with. It was a little bit of a headache, but it, it all worked out. It worked out, but it's too hot to keep this on. But I wanted to share this. Now, it, anybody that's just coming in um, wants to know what on earth I did. <laughs> the yarn that, I'm that I used was a... Halloween Hobie Horizon. This is caked up. I um I caked. No, this is well this is the purple one. This is what I have left of the black, green, and orange. But it was a Hobie Horizon. I bought three skeins and let me tell you, um I'm not sure. I think it was number one, zero one, color one. But it's a number, it says it's a number three, but I want to say it's, <laughs> it's not a number three. Okay, I held two together and it's not heavy. I mean, it's a very thin a number three, but I, I really had fun creating this. I guess I could sit down, right? But, um. What inspired me to make this is I've been watching Kayla over at Alt Knots. The last time I talked about her, I, I couldn't describe. I kind of see her as a modern day Elvira, like a creature feature. Uh, when I was younger, I used to watch creature feature scary movies, and Elvira was our host. Well, she's the redheaded version of Elvira. I, I, I don't mean that as, as an insult. <laughs> so if she sees this, please don't take offense to that. But yeah, that's, that's the only way I can describe her. But I got a couple, a couple colors. I got the purple, orange, and black, and then the green, orange, purple, and gray. I'm not crazy about this color. I'm crazy about that or the orange, green, and black. Um, I don't know. I don't like the gray. Something about the gray. But it's beautiful yarn. It worked up very nicely. Just wish I would have had enough. I think the cardigan would have turned out a lot nicer. I wouldn't have done this black, this whole black thing. But, like, you know, I ran out of yarn. So what to do? And the black, the black on the front is Stylecraft um, Anti-Pilling. It's a number three. I held two together, so I'm not used to working with number three, so, you know, I know holding two together did not make it a four. It might have made it just a four. Yeah, a thin four, <laughs> but anyways, I just... I think that turned out pretty cool. I think a Beetlejuice or something like that is just not in black and white, right? But I think it turned out great. 
I wish I could have completed it in the front. There's a lot of things that I would have done differently if I do it again. I may. You never know. You know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a cardigan on the hook. Now, I have a sweater on the hook. I did not work on that today because I worked on this. I also did a little bit of a trim uh, on the bottom, and it was just single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then, then I did like four rows, and it was chain two, single crochet in the chain two space. So, and then I did a half double crochet. I trimmed out the entire cardigan, the front, with a half double crochet, and then I tried to do kind of a short row because the way it was fitting, it needed to be, it, it needed to have a short row, but here it is, the short rows right here. It's not my best work. <laughs> it's a little wonky. Can you see it? I kind of built it up. I needed to build that up, but the rest of it was just a half double crochet so but I love it I really do and um, I want to thank everybody who um, who told me who gave me some positive vibes for this project so yeah that's my Halloween jacket maybe it'll be cool enough for me to wear it on Halloween you know oh. So, but I had a, I had this black shirt on, and I'm like, eh, you can't see the details of the jacket with the black shirt. So, and I just so happened to have this white shirt in the laundry room that um, I couldn't fit into a couple months ago. <laughs> so, but I'm all ready to go. We're gonna leave first thing in the morning. We were supposed to leave Friday, but no things didn't happen and then he's like well I gotta watch the Gator football so we're not leaving until tomorrow morning so I'm still here but I'm all packed it worked out it worked out I actually colored my hair so I don't have to do it on the trip um, I packed too many whips I know I did but yeah and I found my black and white yarn <laughs> It was in the green room. So, yeah. I'm still organizing, and while I'm organizing, I'm still kind of can't find things because I'm they're not where they used to be. This used to be all yarn, you know, right here behind the couch, and they were tall shelves. So they were um, like these shelves, but they were turned up, and I had more of them. And I knew where everything was, you know, but all that yarn got moved into the other room and I don't know where anything is and nothing is I'm trying to not double everything so I know what I have so much yarn in this other room where I don't know what's behind the yarn that's in front you know uh, you try to put the same yarn but it doesn't always work out that way when you're running uh, when you're running out of space you know so but but I just wanted to get on here and just do a video, uh, share my finished object. And I need to write that in my book that it's finished. And I wish I could find my little, I have this little machine in it. That's going to have to be my goal is go through that purple container. I've got equipment that takes pictures. And, um, and it has the little Kodak cards. It's really cool. Um, Laura, Mad Mimi Crochet, she has one. And that you just take a picture of your project and put it in your little, your project um, book. And I had that book made. So there's a lot of sheets in there, lots of room. And I had it, a, a spiral put on it. Yeah, I went through a phase. And then, you know, and then I went through the fog and I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't keep track of anything, but yeah, I've, I want so bad to make a wearable out of this. I wonder what it would look like. You know, um, the gray and that, that cardigan I was talking about creating that I shared with you guys last night, 
it's kind of like a slime greenish yellow um, I like to knit that yeah and it's not really a cardigan it's a what do you call it it's not a trench coat a duster it's more like a duster and uh, I'm afraid to I'm afraid to knit it because I'm afraid I won't finish it because I, I I get stuck but I really like that so I might what I did was I ordered some latte gray and um, I'm not sure I'm still tied between the um, I'm looking for the, the project I had yesterday in this press she's chewed up two of my hooks yes she ate my hook that was on the couch hang on one second Good girl. You ready? Come on. She's getting better. She knows she where she knows she has to do her business when I take her. Come on, Zeus. Hey. She doesn't smile like Marley does. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I know she's not Marley. But she just is adorable. Huh? Huh? I think her ear's bothering her again. You gonna have ear issues like Zussie? Huh? You gonna have ear issues like Zussie? Can we get down? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's like limp. She's going limp on me. Her hair's starting to get longer. <laughs> I love it. It's like getting long. She's getting the the frillies. Yeah. What baby? Zuzi, you wanna say hi? Come here. Oh. Say hello. Oh. It's not that easy for him. Say hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. I'm sorry. I know your back end can't do what it used to. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Too happy boy. He's a happy boy. He can't wag his tail like he used to. <laughs> she keeps him on his toes. She loves Zuzi. She's she's right there with him. And I'm going to be really sad. She's going to be really sad. Because, you know, you guys, you know, he's... I don't know if he'll be here this time next year. I just don't know. He has good and bad days. He has good and bad days, huh? Hey, baby. Yeah. I got a collar on her. She's gonna have to wear a collar, and we gotta go and get um, tags. Tim's like, "What do you need a tag for?" Because I said, "Because she's a little skittish. She got away from me, which you know I would not stop running <laughs> if she got away from me. But you never know. So I'm gonna get a tag for her collar, and she won't wear collars when she's here." Yes, we don't wear collars, do we? Nope. But today, if if it happened, I, I mean, today was kind of crazy. This morning, did, have you guys seen the deck of cards? But they're granny square patterns. Anyways, I was gonna order some. They were twenty five dollars. But anyways, by the time you pay for shipping they're over like 39 bucks it's not <laughs> they're not worth it to me no 34 bucks something like that it it's not worth it to me but anyways I didn't realize how much the shipping was but I went to order it and my bank I guess my bank thought it was fraudulent activity well 
like I have a new card because I had to switch out my card so PayPal was like not was questioning my card and I like said yes it's me and I attempted to do it again I tried several times I got locked out of my account anyway so I had to go through the automated thing they said I I had to go through 13 transactions of that <laughs> that stupid purchasing that card I guess I tried it 13 times I don't believe I did that but anyways so I had to go through that and unlock my account I ended up having to speak to a person I was really frustrated well while I was on the phone just before I got on the phone I fed her and I put her food in a glass bowl and I brought it in here because I didn't want the boys getting it and eating it okay because they've been doing that if she walks away so anyways while I'm on the phone I hear a pow it's like a pop and I hear like something shatter like spray this glass it shattered so bad there was glass it, it was like a car windshield that shattered but it you know I mean there were pieces everywhere chunks on the couch everywhere and then to top it off okay after getting off the phone you know when you get on the phone with the bank it's like 20 30 minutes it could be longer but I get this thing fed uh, American Express and I told Tim I said I said what did we use my American Express for on vacation he goes we didn't use the American I said yes we did he said no we did not I was like yes we did and I couldn't think of what it was so I got on my app well I got locked out imagine that so because I hadn't used the app in forever and it wouldn't acknowledge my security code well come to find out I was punching in the wrong number but to make a long story short I had got a hold of a guy and he had to walk me through I had to change my password everything I went ahead and changed my email to she's got yarn at gmail.com because I, I'm not going to use the Nancy at doormeyers.com so but <laughs> What a pain in the butt that was yeah and then I had to clean up all that glass and once I thought it was clean I stepped on a piece of glass yeah and then I was looking for my black flip-flop my favorite flip-flops couldn't find one of them I found it it wasn't in here but um, I got a piece of glass in my hand on my hands and knees looking under the couch so I had to vacuum again so that glass I need to let Shay and Miss Rhonda know, be careful, there's glass. I mean, I, I stripped the couch, I vacuumed under what I could reach. I am not moving the couches. I moved my, my ottoman underneath, there was a bunch of glass under that, so. But I had to sweep it up first and then vacuum it. I apologize, but I'm so thirsty and but yeah, we're leaving early in the morning. Early, early. And I'm gonna, I haven't worked on this. I finished that. It took me all day to do that well, off and on. I've been doing other things. So, but I almost want to order another skein of this color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. You know what I wanna do? I wanna, I think if, I wanna find some neon um cotton but like a super bulky i want to make dog leashes and dog collars um in like bright colors it it's something i want to do i don't know but i'm thinking maybe hobie has that i'm not sure or maybe um ice yarns but i'm gonna i did look on webs and they had some stuff they didn't have the, the colors that i wanted but there were some colors i would use but wouldn't it be cool to have a leash like this? Get this in like that super bulky. So I'm going to try to find it. But I want to get another skein. If I do go to Hobie and buy anything else, I am going to get another one of these. And I want to make another cardigan. Yeah. Or maybe I'll just make something meshy. You know? I'm, I'm not sure. But I really like the way... Well, at least you guys have an idea of how that works up. That, I mean, I didn't start color control. Well, 
I had to start color controlling because I had to add to I had a third ball I had to split in half and you know and make it two two strands so most of the like the back was the beginning of how this I mean this is how it works up this I colored controlled this like here here that's color controlled yeah but I wish I could have the more I look at this, it's like I want to go back and buy a ball and, and redo this, but I'm not. I'm not going to. So, but do you guys like the tassel or should I put a button? Or should I trim some more in orange and green? I could trim. I don't know. I just think this black takes away from it, but I'm going to start overthinking and I need to stop overthinking. I'm finished with it. I need to just be happy and move on move on to this I can't wait till this I have I don't think I've done anything since last night so so it's gonna be forever yours it looks wonky I can't straighten anything because my the way this camera is everything's opposite so it's probably gonna make me look huge I don't care I don't care but I I okay I was telling you about the cardigan I ordered two of these and I'm thinking about using the center of this and then I bought gray latte okay it's and it's kind of an ombre latte I bought two of those, I bought two of these, and I bought two of the other one I have. I don't know where it is. I think it's packed. But it has the yellow. So it has the yellow, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But... I think I bought three of these. I'm not sure. Yeah, I went a little crazy. But I want to make that cardigan. I really do. With something fluffy and soft. So. And this, I think, would make a cool looking sweater. But I don't have enough of the green. And if anybody has any green I could buy, I would love to buy it. Um. Yeah, the, I should have bought more. I, I mean, I had the opportunity to buy the right amount, but now my store's completely out of it. Um, I did get that prism. I bought the gray prism, too. I really liked it, so I bought some. I think I bought some today. Yeah, I did. So much for not buying any yarn. So, and I think I'm going to work it up maybe with this. I'm not sure. Now, I bought a pink and blue. I bought it for Angela, my precious yarnery, and I, I haven't shipped it out yet because I want to put something else together for her. And she's not in a rush for it. Pearl's got plenty of yarn, but she'll love that yarn. It's so soft and squishy. I know she'll like that. Yep. <sighs> So I, I was thinking about making some animal stuff, you know, the sweaters, some leashes and collars. I pulled out my stitch book to try to see, I don't know, I'm not sure yet, you know, like braids and stuff like that. So I'm not sure, but I'll figure it out. But you want something strong enough. Now I have some stuff like Billy makes her little purses out of, but it's, it's only a number four. I wonder if it comes in a thicker, a thicker, that stuff hurts my hands. Ugh. So, but, I don't know. There was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I can't, oh, my, um, my giveaway. I, I'm not gonna choose somebody today <laughs> probably not tomorrow but I'm gonna do it while I'm on my trip I'm gonna get it together within a week 
because uh, I'm doing it manually, okay? And it's a slow process. I won't do this again, <laughs> not like this. Um, but it's for a good cause. I'm hoping that Olga's channel or her YouTube, not her YouTube, her Etsy shop is doing better. I wanna thank everybody that has participated. I am doing the giveaway, but this is what I was thinking. I've got boxes of yarn, you know, that I've got boxed up, that some I'm donating, some are for giveaways, some are for other stuff. I'm not saying the M word yet because my emails will go crazy and I'm not, I'm not, please don't ask me until I tell you. But um, I was thinking about doing kind of a shopping spree for the person who wins the giveaway. And I, ultimately what I'd like to do is do like a FaceTime shopping or do a live shopping. Maybe I could stream yard her. I don't know. I mean, not everybody has what we, you know, if you have an email and you have a phone, you can ultimately, I can send you a link and I can stream yard you and we can go shopping together on the channel and you can pick out your yarn and I'll give you a budget and I'll give you a decent budget, you know, and then like we'll check out and do coupons. I want to do something like that. And maybe we could do that in Tennessee. Um, I heard there's a Joann's in Pigeon Ford, Forge. Or, you know, something I would like to do, but I don't know if, y'all let me know what you think. I, I mean, if we can't go live, um, whoever wins, they can give me an idea in the email, what yarns they like, and I will go shopping. And I'll like, maybe tell them, okay, you need to go on Joann's in this town where I am, you know, and um, I'll get that yarn for you. And actually, if we order it like online, you can tell me what you want. If you can't, if I can't stream yard you, um, that's probably not gonna happen. Cause I don't know, it could, you know, if the person answered me right away. But you know, sometimes people don't claim my giveaways. And I don't announce it, I just move on. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. Um, I got a few things I wanna give away. I've got the two Vera Bradley bags um, that are coming up in giveaways. I've kinda of put my Friday specials on hold. Um, <laughs> there's that thumb again. I wonder if it's cause my nail's pink. You know, I painted my, t my, my, my thumb. My nails pink, so I've been looking at like Halloween nails to see what, maybe if I could do something. I've taken some screenshots on Pinterest. That is dangerous, Pinterest. Yeah, that's how why this is on the hook. It's it's just never ending. Then I thought about I wouldn't wear a shirt with this color, but make a beautiful boggy blanket with this. This is kind of, it looks bulkier, but when you pull the yarn out, it's not bulky, even though it says it is. But, mm-mm, mm-mm. You guys, did you see, okay, Juan, the yarn addict, he has this beautiful squiggly wiggly <laughs> blanket. It's a mile, it's like a mile a minute type blanket. I actually have some old patterns. There's like, I think like, eight or nine um, mile a minute patterns. They're like really old. I got from, I think my mother-in-law. Yeah, I think it was my mother-in-law's patterns. It's kind of cool. Um, but Juan, the color scheme that he has in that tutorial is gorgeous, but it's for Boggy Creek. And I really appreciate Juan doing that for Boggy Creek. I really do. And um, we have some exciting, um, we got some exciting stuff coming up uh, regarding Boggy Creek. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to mention it, so I'm not tonight, but I need to talk to the girls. But we've got some 
it, it's just really cool and it warms my heart of what's going on and the people that want to get involved in Boggy Creek. Let's leave it at that. So we got some surprises coming up, but um, I lost my thought. My train of thought, which is nothing new, right? <laughs> I'm just yakking. It's late. And I need to get, we need to get on the road. My husband is the biggest, he is, usually I'm the one that's the procrastinator, but he, he's been really bad. It's because I've got energy. <laughs> I don't know where it's coming from. I guess, well, it, it's been there all along. It's just been <laughs> suppressed by drugs, blood pressure medication. My babies are seeping. So this will be her first road trip. I'm a little anxious about her skipping. We run. She runs from me every now and then. Marley did the same thing for a long time. She'd like, see ya, <laughs> and take off. I wanted to choke her so many times. Yeah, I can't remember what I was telling you guys other than we got some cool stuff coming up. I was talking about something before that. Oh well, but I'm not going to stay on here long. We're already at 32 minutes. What have I done for 32 minutes? It doesn't feel like it's been 32 minutes. Oh, I was talking about uh, Juan's blanket. Yeah, Juan, um, Juan the yarn addict, he created a tutorial for Boggy Creek, which is really cool. And he's got some exciting stuff he's going to be doing, and I'm going to try to be a part of it um there it is again um i think he told you guys he's wanting to go to canada and pick up a bunch of blankets so i want to take part in that if i can yeah maybe i can visit with some canada some of my canada subscribers i would love to see angela that would be so cool but she lives like I don't know, like six hours from the border, but you know, her and Tom can make it a day to come see me. I don't know, but that, that would be really cool. But yeah, I have more than just, I have a, a few of you guys I would love to visit with. And, but yeah, I would like to visit with some people, like my husband's from Buffalo, New York, you know, and even he might even like to, to he might want to go. He's got family there and I can remember we went to New York Buffalo and he wanted to show me the farmhouse he grew up you know the farm so we went to the farm the house is still there the barns are still there the chicken coops are still there my husband's walking like around the property like he still owns the place and I'm like Tim we ultimately are trespassing I don't want to go to jail and he was like no, we're fine. I was like really nervous. Well, come to find out, they were glad. They remembered Tim. Tim's mom and dad built that house and grandma and grandpa lived there too. You know, I guess back in the days, families lived together like that in that area, I guess. But it was the apple orchard they lived on. And then he went down the road and there was some other people that he knew that were still there. It was, it was kind of cool. And then we went to the grave, the, the graveyard, and we found lots of family there. So yeah, it was kind of cool. He found his grandfather and grandmother's um, plot, and like uncles and stuff like that. It was kind of cool for him to share, you know, where he grew up when he was a little boy. Yeah. So and then we went to the falls, Niagara Falls, and my camera died. That was before um, I think I even had a cell phone. I think cell phones existed, but I, I had a bag phone in my car. It didn't, I didn't walk around with my phone, you know what I mean? But it would, I had one in my vehicle. So it wasn't a bag, but it was similar to a bag. It was installed in my car, but in my minivan. Yeah, I loved my minivan. I used to pile kids in there and go to their football games and practices. I miss those days. Yeah. 
camp. Maybe Gunner. Gunner's not really interested in sports right now. He's still young. So, and Kirkland. She's into gymnastics. Some tumbling. But I haven't, she hasn't been doing it lately. So, she's real, real smart. Book smart. But, I don't know. Maybe she'll be a cheerleader. I don't know. She's not a tomboy like her. Well, you know, she likes she likes animals. And I wish her dad would get her in 4-H. Like, she's not afraid of reptiles. Or get her some... Her mother... The reason she can't have a snake is her mother has a phobia of snakes. Like, and I, I understand that phobia because my daughter has it of snakes. So, thanks to Joey bringing snakes home when he was younger... <laughs> We had like the six foot rat snake loose in my house for two weeks. Yeah. And uh, Tiffany found it and it was striking at her. Yeah. She's petrified of snakes now. Thanks to that. This is when I lived across the street from my mom and dad. And Joey comes home. Well, I. He went over there and got the snake and put it in an aquarium. I did not know this until I got home from work. I, maybe the next day. But. I looked at that thing and it was snap. It was like, it was striking and hitting the glass. And I looked at him and I went, that better not get loose in the house. <laughs> it was loose within 24 hours. And that's back when I was dating Tim. Tim would not come to my house for, it was probably a month before he came to my house. And I told him, I said, it's gone. And the night that he came over, we found it. Tiffany found it. <laughs> It had her cornered in my garden tub in my room. I, you remember, well, I used to live in a mobile home. It was a beautiful mobile home. I bought it brand new, but you remember they had garden tubs? Well, I had this huge garden tub, and she was like up against the wall, standing on the side of the tub. This snake was right there. It's awful. So it had been in my room all, all this time. It's crazy. And it was a mean snake. So, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, okay, y'all. I'm going to get off of here. And that is the story of the evening. I've got lots of whips on the trip. So next time you see me, I'll be on the road. And I apologize for the delay of this giveaway. But y'all, make sure you go to that video okay and it's the Olga you know we wanted to support Olga and it's I guess it's on a Friday night special but anyways make sure if you bought a pattern that you leave a comment that you let that you bought a pattern because I'm going to be writing the names out and I just hope everybody's honest I'm just that's the way it's gonna have to be I'm you know I could call Olga but you know eh, I don't want to bother her I just appreciate everybody that did go over there and purchase a pattern or more and support her. She's an amazing designer and we would really don't want to lose her or her tutorials. Yeah. So, but yeah. So, you know, these Etsy shops and YouTube channels, I mean, people think we make a lot of money and some people can make money um they have to work that channel really hard and she works really hard it supports her and her children and it isn't a lot of money and then when somebody makes a terrible comment well you can get it for free and then and then what it does is it hurts her business financially people need to understand that they shouldn't do that that's you know I just I think we need to embrace one another and support everybody you know I don't care who you are I don't care you know what people say about you if you if you're on here trying to do something good for people um, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know watch you support you but anyways on a good note, I hope everybody has a wonderful Memorial Week. It's actually, it's my anniversary. 
it's midnight. It's my anniversary. Yes, it is. 29 years we've been married. Is that? That's crazy. That's crazy. He's put up with me for 29 years and vice versa, you know? Wow. And then his birthday is in four days. Tim's birthday's on the 5th. Then my birthday's on the 13th. That's why we're making, that's why we're going on this trip. We're celebrating us. Yeah. So, anyways. All right, guys. I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. And we will ha do this giveaway. I want to do a shopping spree in this, this giveaway. And it's going to be, I, I don't want to put a number out there. Okay? Because I, I, I don't want trolls. But. It's going to be a really nice one. And I want somebody to pick out what they want. So maybe we'll do like a Joann's Live. Whoever wins, maybe I can arrange for that. If not, I'll share the haul that I get them. But I would like to do a live after, you know, I do a drawing. Maybe I can get with them and we can do a StreamYard Live shopping at Joann's. That would be so cool. Yeah. So, now if you live... On the other side of the pond, I'm probably going to send you a gift card. But I hear a lot of it. Well, I'll send you like PayPal or something. I'll send you money, something like that. Probably what I'll do. And um, yeah, my thumb. <laughs> I remember the other night it was like fireworks, and I don't know what I did. How about this? I love you all. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>